Hello everyone, welcome to Science Express. Today our topic is amino acid. Which one is a biomolecules? In this lecture, we discuss about the amino acid, its type and function. Now start the lecture, amino acid. Amino acid are organic compound and it link together with other amino acid from a polypeptide chain and big polypeptide chain is called protein. Okay, amino acid essential to life because the protein they are formed are involved in virtually all cell function like some protein are involved formation of enzyme antibody and other provide structural support for the body okay now in human body contain near about 100 amino acid but near about 20 amino acid are involved in the protein synthesis example of other 100 amino acid included ornithine and histamine but they are not involved in the protein synthesis amino acid are substitute methane group okay with four substitute groups occurring the four valency position of the alpha carbon these are hydrogen carboxyl group amino group and a variable group designate as a r group okay so amino acid is a methane derivative clear and four valency are carbon are replaced by hydrogen carboxyl group amino group and r group okay so that one is a general formula of amino acid that one is called alpha carbon that right hand side that one is called carboxyl group left hand side that one is called amino group and that one hydrogen and lower portion that is called r that one is the functional group okay carboxyl group amino group hydrogen and r that one is a derivative of methane and it is a general formula of amino acid okay now depending on the nature of r group there are 20 different amino acid are present clear actually they are involved in the protein synthesis in the human body the r group when hydrogen the name of amino acid is glycine when R group is methyl group, name of the amino acid is alanine. R group is hydroxymethyl, then name of the amino acid is serine. Clear? Now, here we can see that three type of amino acid, glycine, alanine, serine. If the R group is replaced by the hydrogen, clear? Then name of the amino acid is glycine. If R group is replaced by CH3 then name of the amino acid is alanine if R group is replaced by CH2OH so name of the amino acid is serine clear glycine is called simplest amino acid among the all 20 amino acid clear so in case of glycine only R group is replaced by the hydrogen Now here we discuss about the how peptide bond formation in the amino acid clear one amino acid attach other amino acid by the peptide bond here we can see that when two amino acid are close together clear that one release one H2O that that process is called dehydration synthesis clear dehydration synthesis clear okay and h2 is removed from this chain two chain and h2 removed so peptide bond is formed clear okay now the physical and chemical property of amino acid depend on the amino carboxyl and r functional group of them clear Depending on the number of amino group and carboxyl group, amino acids may be basic amino acid, acidic amino acid and neutral amino acid. If the number of carboxyl group equals to number of amino group, then nature of amino acid will be neutral. Example of neutral amino acid is glycine and serine. If the number of carboxyl group is greater than the amino group, the nature of amino acid is acidic in nature so 
name of the amino acid is glutamic acid and aspartic acid clear if the number of amino group is greater than carboxyl group then nature of amino acid is basic in nature so that called basic amino acid example histidine lysine and arginine okay now discuss about the amino acid classification on the basis of human body cannot synthesize or can be synthesized amino acid actually two types one is called essential amino acid another one is called non essential amino acid amino acid which the human body cannot synthesize are called essential amino acid these amino acid are to be supplied through the diet okay or must be in our diet that type of amino acid is called essential amino acid non essential amino acid amino acid which can be synthesized in body are called non essential amino acid because they are not essential in our diet clear now another one is called semi essential amino acid that type of amino acid required only during the growth and lactation period example that type of amino acid is histidine histidine and arginine okay here we listed some essential amino acid name of some essential amino acid is valine leucine isoleucine methionine phenylalanine lysine histidine tryptophan and theanine near about nine essential amino acid present clear okay now discuss about the non essential amino acid name of some alanine serine aspartic aspartate glutamate arginine cysteine glutamine glycine proline and tyrosine near about total is called essential and non essential total is called 20 amino acid so nine one of them is a essential one clear now we discuss about the each amino acid give a three letter abbreviation and a single letter code so by nomenclature wise amino acid are represent sometimes it is three letter abbreviation and some research paper we can found it is a single letter code clear so alanine is represent by the a cysteine represent by the c aspartate represent by the d glutamate represent by the d phenylalanine f glycine g okay now here also other amino acids histidine represent by the h isoleucine i lysine very important k leucine l methionine m okay methionine and cysteine two type of amino acid are sulfur containing amino acid clear that type of amino acid in their basic structure contain sulfur molecule aspartate n proline p glutamine q now another things another one arginine r serine s theanine t valine v tryptophan w and tyrosine y clear thanks for watching please do like comment share and subscribe science express